hello friends so welcome back to my youtube channel so in this video i will show you how you can fix mysql jump server error which is mysql shut down unexpectedly as you can see i am starting my jump server and if try to run mysql services it will throw an error so if i start Apache services it will start perfectly there is no issue with my Apache services but if I try to start my SQL services now you can see here is an error my SQL shut down unexpectedly okay so I will show you how you can fix this error first of all I have stopped Apache services and quit the gem server so now first of all what you need to do just go to the directory where you have installed your gem server i have installed my gem server in c directory i will go to c directory and gem folder inside the gem folder you can see a folder called mysql so you have to open that mysql folder and inside mysql folder there are some other folder like backup data bin and etc okay so what you need to do first of all basically the problem basically the problem is with the data folder all right so what you need to do you have to change the content of this data folder so first of all i will rename this as old uh, data or let's say this is the old data okay so now i will create a new folder and i will give it a name to data okay so now i have a folder with data name and data old so this folder is empty so now what i will do i will copy basically gem server provide the backup files in the backup folder so what we will do just go to backup folder and copy all the files inside backup folder and paste it into data folder all right that you have created just now okay now what you will do basically now uh, if there there might be some database inside your gem server so you need to restore that database those database also so what will you do go to data old folder and copy your database folder from here there are some other folders or by default folders those are the by default database which are uh, by default provided by the gem server so you have to copy the database folder that you have created not the by default that mysql provide these are the by by default uh, database like my sql performance schema php my admin etc but if there exists any database that you have created so you have to copy those folders only like i have created rms underscore db and sms underscore laravel and tms underscore db i have created three database so i have copied so i am copying these three folders so just copy it and paste it to data folder okay so till now what you have done you have copy the data of backup folder into data folder and you have copied the database folder from the old data folder all right to new data folder so now last thing you need to do is just go to data underscore old folder or your old data folders and copy here ib data one file okay you have to copy ib data one file so just copy this and paste it into data folder that's it and i will click on replace the file in destination because uh, in the jump uh, in the backup folder there is already the file i'll be dat ib data one but you have to replace this file with the old data file okay so till now what we have done i have copy the backup folder into the data folder then i have copied my database folder into data folder and lastly i have copied ib data one file into 
data folder. So that's it. That's done. Now I close this file and if I try to open Jam server again and if I start both the services if i start my sql services it will work properly and if we, if i try to start my sql server you can see it's also working properly so now you can see the error has gone so that's it so i hope you have also fixed this error and if you really like the video this video is helpful for you please like the video and comment the video and if you are new to my youtube channel you may subscribe my youtube channel 